all of us guitar players require a very important tool to be able to keep our guitar on so that we don't drop it on the ground, and that is obviously a guitar strap. Now, most of you just take for granted the fact that you go and buy a guitar strap and where the hell does it come from? Well, let me introduce you to a man who most of you out there would probably own at least one of his products, if not more. This is Mr. Harvey Levy, as in Levy Straps. Well, thank you for that fine introduction, Jason. Very welcome. And welcome to the Japanese Music Fair. Yeah, this is pretty cool, actually. It's a great weekend and a really cool event. Yeah. Um, now, the history on Levy Straps, how did you get this whole thing started and when did it start? Well, I wasn't a good enough guitar player, so I had to find something else to do to be able to stay in the music business. And it just so happens my brother had a leather goods company, and so in 1979 when I joined him, his company was already up and running. It was started in 1973. Mm -hmm. And when I joined, I pushed us towards the music because that's what I was interested in. And I started designing a strap here and a strap there to the point now where we have 450 different models of guitar strap. It's a lot. And if you look at the designs and the colors, you have 4,500 straps to choose from. So we make a lot of straps. It's a lot of choices. So let's have a look at some of your choices and some of your options. What do okay. we have going on these days? Well, let me show you. This is, this is right up at the top of our line. And we like to have a complete range of straps in terms of different price points. But we're obviously most par proud of our really unique straps. Of course. And this one right here, it's developed with technology from Italy which I found about 10 years ago. It's an embossing process. And the people that made the brander that brands these straps introduced me to a die maker that has this precision process. You'll notice the three-dimensional that you get on this strap. And you really need to be a leather worker or hand tooler or saddle maker to be able to get that kind of detail and that would cost hundreds and hundreds of dollars and you've managed to get this from an embossing machine now you've what? managed to get this from an embossing machine now yes it's an embossing machine that does this detail that's cool and we have about 10 or 15 different designs of that and so that's one of the things we do and this is a fine carving leather that we're using here yeah and they're, they're nicely padded too always nicely padded on the higher end straps. But we also have, this is a very popular type of strap. And it's a very simple strap, easy to adjust. Yep. And the rockers like this, I've seen this, uh, John McLaughlin uses this strap. Many other players use these with straps. With the sun on it, with that particular with design. With the sun, his is, his is red with the suns. Okay. We have it in red and green and blue and black and brown and it's a jacquard weave, much like they used to use back in the Hendrix days. And we make a line of those kinds as well. Old school, nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Now, one thing I want to tell you about is I've just been designing these straps for 35 years, but over the last two years, my niece has become excited. She's very much into fashion, and she has been designing more and more straps this is one that she designed for the edge for you too and he used it last year for the jimmy fallon show at new year's that's cool and it's hundreds and hundreds of little nail heads on a very soft leather strap can i see the other side please wow the other side is suede and it's nice and smooth too yes so that's one of her designs and she's doing more and more and let me show you one more of her fun design. Sure, by all means. And one thing I liked about, she's so particular about the design. It has to be just so. So she selected the leather because she liked the look of it. She has to be a teenager with these crazy fun designs. No, the lady is 32 years old. Wow. Uh, in case you're watching this young levy lady, I'm sure you didn't really want your age divulged, but you get that. <laughs> She tells everybody. Oh, that's all right then. And, but she was very particular that if we were going to have it there, reversible. She wanted it, well, it's not really reversible. 
because you'd have to redo this. Oh, of course. But she just liked the look of it. A design on both and, sides, that's cool. And I think, as the, as the fellow that designed the bulk of these straps over the years, those little things are what set us apart. It's a woman's touch, isn't it? You can't beat that. You can't beat that. I and noticed there is a reversed version there as well. Just back here, there's the opposite there's side. There's one that is both... Because he knows full well that a guy won't necessarily have the nerve to buy something loud. <laughs> so he'll go for black on black. Makes sense. He may like the look of that, but he'll be afraid to buy it. Possibly. But his girlfriend might buy it for but him. But if he's a leftover from the 80s glam metal scene like myself, maybe not so scared. Yes, perhaps. And the red classic indeed. The thinner leather strap. A suede, sorry. This is a nice suede. And again, we look all over the place. The nap on this. See how that changes color? Yes, certainly. It's because the nap is, is just that height where it gives it a nice texture. It makes it look rich. And then you come down to the little details. All the stitching around there is not only attractive, but it also serves a function to keep the two pieces of leather together. Strength and integrity. Proper. Yes. Very nice. And then, uh, very particular about our logo. So we use that embossing machine from Italy to make sure that the logo really pops. So you have the embossing machine in Canada in your factory? Yes, yes. And all our straps are made in Canada. Yep. Except for two items, entry level, level items that are made in China. But so 448 of our models of guitar strap are made in Canada. We're very proud of it. Can't them. go wrong with that. Well, Rush is from Canada and they're pretty fantastic. I'm a big Rush fan. So I give, oh, you, yes, I give you Canadians props because I'm a big Rush fan. And we do we do the strap for Rush as well. Oh, really? Yes. So, so Alex and Alex Getty get Lyson their straps uses from you. One of ours, well, we do, I can't remember whether we designed it for him. I think he came to us and said, will you make a strap like this? And we said, sure. So we did and then we put it in the line. Fantastic. We did the same for the guys in Metallica as well. We make straps for, well, Paul McCartney, uh, Dolly Parton, Bruce Springsteen, you name it. They've all, at one time or another, used our guitar straps. That's some name dropping worth name dropping. Yeah. Very cool. I'm not above that. No, well, I can't blame <laughs> you. Why would you be when you've got like people like that in your roster? Why yes. the hell not? Well, look, thank you very much for your time. We really thank appreciate you, it. So, ladies and gentlemen, there is Mr. Levy.